morning it's uh i don't know 35 degrees feels pretty good have a uh, pretty interesting thing going on today here at the farm having some plumbing work done so uh, waiting on the plumber to, to arrive moving equipment around and trucks getting everything ready so where these horses <clears throat> where the buck feeder is i run water from inside the barn out here fill up their uh fill up their stock tank and that cycle repeats itself every day what i'd like to do is have a hydrant uh right here right up next to this and i'll be able to put an automatic waterer there to make life a lot easier on everybody around here so uh there's water in the ground right here a line that runs all the way down to the pasture but uh i'm i'm being lazy i don't want to have to go down to the pasture to check water every day or drive down there i'm gonna start checking it right here at the barn and uh so anyway they're going to start digging right here in front of me trench line over there and uh make the hydrant work so start moving equipment around and uh get today started all right taking a little coffee break and uh show you what i've been doing over here in the paddock i should have had the camera in the in track loader but i forgot so anyway I'll show you so this paddock might be hard to see but it slopes off from the barn and there's a gutter pipes water down to that at this little dip here in this uh paddock there's actually a french drain in there i put it in i know my rocks are all messed up i'm working on that i put it in uh gosh two years ago now i think and um so in that french drain of course is standard uh four inch uh corrugated perforated pipe with a sleeve in a gravel bed 57 stone gravel bed and it runs about another 75 feet on the other side to get some slope away to carry the water away and uh, that radically changed this paddock it used to just be a slop mud hole all the time i didn't have a gutter on the barn that was stupid and um it just all that water from the barn just came like niagara falls and kept this just a muddy mess all the time and um so anyway this winter has been exceptionally wet here in north carolina and i'm out of breath and the uh i don't know why all i did was walk over here and the uh um, so anyway this paddock just I had some sand rock in it, but not enough, and it stayed churning up all the time with the horses. Uh, so anyway, I put about I don't know, a quarter of a tandem load of sand rock in here, worked it over a little bit with the C232, and um, we'll see what that does. Hopefully it helps helps a little bit, and now that we're in a little bit of a drier spell as well. So uh, I'm gonna get the 5075 and start working that land plane on the driveway a little bit like I talked about earlier, and uh, we'll talk more about it. Let that warm up for a minute. If you hear the high idle kick in, that's pretty cool. Well, I'm gonna get the 5075 going. I need it today too. Have a little driveway work to do. Like I've been in this tractor in about two or three weeks. Actually, I know I haven't. Starts up nicely. I'm gonna let both of these warm up. And so I don't know about the rest of y'all, but you know I drink a lot of coffee. I get a lot of. I get a lot of heat from that from my family saying that oh you coffee you gotta have coffee everyone will go coffee coffee well you know yeah i do so it's pretty hard to run the camera and uh, run the tractor at the same time but i'm gonna do my best here one-handed uh, while i also work the uh, shuttle shift so i've got a cat 2 i match i didn't do good at all like I said, it's pretty hard to do one-handed. There it is for me anyway. Like a glove. 
right, I'm gonna get out in a minute and I'll put the arm locking arms down and uh, get this thing out here and get it ready to go. So, um, most people that, that do a lot of this stuff know what a land plane is, but I'm, I'm gonna walk around here just uh, pretty briefly and talk to you about the land plane and uh, explain it a little bit first. So, this is the land plane. This is a uh, 84 inch, I believe. I'm pretty sure this is an 84 inch land plane. Um, they're pretty expensive. I won't. I don't lie. It hurt buying it, but it's. Uh, you can see it's very stout. Lots of metal in this. Uh, works obviously with Cat 2 hitch on the 5075M. Cat 2 I match on the 5072M. But that uh, that 84 inch footprint is pretty cool. Uh, save some passes on the driveway. I can get done pretty quick. Uh, I had it. I was working some sand rock with it uh, Not too long ago, which it works very good for any material. I had a, a pasture <clears throat> When I first bought this place that was in really bad shape rutted uh, it Just terrible. So I I dissed the whole pasture and uh, came worked it back with a land plane And it wasn't even this one. It was a small one It was a 60 or a 72 inch and uh, it just made it smooth as butter and it's been great ever since. Uh, and it got a good seed bed going and it's, it's, it's worked out really well. But this is, uh, if you have a long driveway, rural driveway like me, it's uh, it's pretty much necessary. I just don't see that a box scrape. Uh, box scrape is pulling and gathering, pulling and gathering. Then you have to distribute, distribute, pull and gather, pull and gather. It's fine for its for certain situations. And I have a box, I have a box scrape right there. It is, um, but and I do use it sometimes, but uh, not for this. Not for this. The the other thing that works really good on a driveway is a heavy chain harrow or chain drag. So this is a, uh, you know, this was a was a pretty good one. It hurt to buy it too, but it's uh, you can see it's half inch, uh, half inch metal there. I think the whole thing weighs about six or seven hundred pounds. I believe it's an 84 inch, uh, might be 84 by 60, 84 wide, 60 deep. And uh, it's stout, it's hard to move. My uh, gator doesn't like to move it, so I use a four wheeler most of the times and it pulls it pretty good in low range. Um, but that's a critical piece too. I find that on the driveway, once it's compacted, um, I generally will start with the chain harrow. That chain harrow will dig down a couple inches, pull up that gravel that's compacted, and uh, it makes rows that you don't really like or I don't like. And uh, But it, again, it works that, that buried gravel up. And then you can come along with your land plane and, uh, and smooth it out like butter. And it, and it looks like you just had gravel delivered by a guy or, or someone that knew how to deliver gravel and spread it out nicely. It, it works good. So I'm gonna run this later today. I'm not ready to do this now. And, uh, and I'll explain it all to you. So today's gonna be kind of a hodgepodge of, of events and me, uh, Born you with farm talk. So getting ready to work the land plane a little bit, and um, generally this land plane, you want to make sure that it's level. You know, no shocker there. And uh, I lay it right down on the deck. As I start to pull away, I make sure that it's not grabbing too much of a bite at first. And uh, grab a little bit of RPMs here. And we'll start out nice and slow. And, and watch it. And I'll you'll have to bear with me because I'm doing the camera with one hand I can already tell you it's biting too hard camera with one hand and tractor with the other so it's uh, be a little interesting probably not that's probably about what I'm looking for and I want this land plane to kind of scout I'm grabbing too much dirt from the side I do not want to do that and uh, you want this land plane to just kind of cut down I don't know half an inch and inch. you can see how it's already improving it's not running quite low enough one-handed deals so you can see how it's already improving the driveway it's cutting down freeing up gravel that are compacted they're going back over the blade as it builds up on that back blade and laying down a nice smooth edge and it's not going to be perfect and this part of the driveway is where I just had this big tree fall so with uh, a land plane is not you know gonna work magic on that I'm gonna have to add some gravel but for the places that it is in decent shape uh, it will vastly improve it and like I mentioned earlier if you come along with that really heavy chain harrow prior to this and break it up, you'll get a much better, uh, much better result. But as you can see, right now it's doing about what it ought to be doing, and at the depth that it should be working the gravel. And, uh, a lot of folks don't use them on their gravel driveway, and I don't know why. 
makes your life a lot better. A lot easier if you're funny about your driveway. And I'm funny about my driveway. I wish I'd like to spend a lot more time and materials on it. And uh, one of these days I'm going to. All right, well, I think you all probably get the idea uh, about that and see. So I'm going to go up here, make a pass all the way up to the end, turn around, come back down and, and work the second side of the driveway. And I, I don't, I try not to run down the middle too much. And I try to have the blades angled so that it's the, the over here to this side, so that the rock is discharging or working to that side of the, of the implement because I want to keep the crown in my driveway. You know, I want water running off and turning away down both sides. So uh, it's a challenge. And uh, it's not something that when you first get your land plane, you're good at either. It took me, and I don't, I'm not saying I'm good at it, but it took me quite a while to get to a place where I could work it half decent. So, uh, Yes. 